The weather has helped the situation here. A lovely summer's day in Motherwell this evening for two teams who hopefully will provide the fans with uh, some welcome good football. Motherwell, this is the second week in a row that John Boyle has decided to drop the prices. Five pounds for adults and a pound for the kids to come and watch Scottish football. And he certainly has the right idea as Motherwell mount the first challenge. Here's a chance for Owen Coyle in and goal. Tries to chip the goalkeeper. Beautiful play by Owen Coyle. And the early chance to the home side. Well, Coyle obviously seen Steve Dykstra coming towards him and decided just a delicate chip would be enough. But unfortunately, just slightly off target. Coyle straight up there, knew exactly where the goal was. But precision just a couple of inches wide of Steve Dykstra's left-hand post. There's been some good passing on show and certainly some good footballing ideals from Motherwell. But as yet, to prove the point, Motherwell's good build-up play in the middle of the park. No goals as yet. Here's the ball into the box. Ian Ross on the end of it. Owen Coyle. Coyle has a second chance. Here's Ross. Tries to drive it. Took a deflection. Goal for Motherwell. Kai Nazarin opens the scoring for Motherwell a couple of minutes before half time. And just as we were talking about the time it would take Nazarin to develop a partnership with Owen Coyle. Well, Ian Ross just hoping to put that back into the danger area. Lovely piece of play. Ross opting for the shot. Dykes will be able to hold. It wasn't a dangerous ball to start with, and it looked as if Ross was struggling to keep it in play. We took full advantage of Coyle's flick back, and Dykstra won't be happy. Stephen McMillan, and the jostle with Pasquale, and he comes off best. Yet again, McClare picking it up, it's a chance to drive Brian McClare, good save, Dykstra. And McClare's intention clear for all to see. But the story of the afternoon, his mother was midfield, is dominating this game and picking up all the loose ball. Now Matai, can he get the good cross in? There's your answer, there's a chance just past the post! Well, there'll certainly be questions asked in the Dundee United defensive area. Great ball by Rob Matai, did exactly what was asked of him. And Kai Nyssen in, just in deftest of flicks, inches past the right-hand post of Dijkstra. Beautiful ball in, lovely head flick. Lovely ball by Owen Coyle, Ross trying for the quick one. Ryan McClare arriving late, here's Rob Matai, can he get the shot? He can! Well, Rob Matai, signed from FC Volendam, and the 23-year-old has certainly provided some excitement for these Motherwell fans. Off target there, but he's been well in control in the midfield area along with Brian McClare and Simo Valakari. to Coyle, Coyle just trying to flick that round, lovely ball inside, Shabuti, this could finish it, he failed to connect, and that really should have been game set in match for Motherwell, Eli Shabuti missing a golden opportunity, lovely skill by Owen Coyle, beautiful pass, Shabuti onside, all he had to do at this point, he took a touch, may well have been better, in fact Morris Malpass deserves great credit, his block denying Shabuti the second goal for Motherwell, Shabuti did actually get the shot in, Lovely touch again by McClare and Shibuti. McClare playing the quick one. Here's a chance for them to kill the game off. Ian Ross has Shibuti there. Steps inside him. That's a perfect finish. Oh, it's inches past the right-hand post. Ian Ross had done everything right. And it looked as if it was heading towards the goal. Well, this would have certainly finished Dundee United off. He steps inside Mark McNally. Right-footed shot. It looked as if it was goal-bound. Beautiful skill by Ross. Dykstra beaten and Ross denied Motherwell's second goal in this game 